the world get to see me as Idris Elba, the actor, see me on red carpet, see me in interviews, talking about characters that I'm playing, but they never really get to see my real world. It was music, music that locked us together kind of thing. He loves the screen, but he loves the DJ. He's always been like that, he loves it. music brought us closer. Obviously, I was the better DJ. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, mate? Start another tune. Here we go, here we go. There is Idris holding a record. In fact, when Idris was a teenager, he'll be upstairs playing his music. His dad is downstairs banging the music. The phone is ringing and all the girls are asking for Idris. <laughs> so you've always had music in the house? Always, always. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was brought up that way. Take me with music! I would like that with his money! Take me with music! Dad has always encouraged me with music, whether it's play it, turn it up, play a song you like. When I was about 10 years old, that's all I wanted to do. I used to make turntables out of cereal boxes and, like, you literally cut the holes out of the cereal box and then, you know, turn it into a little turntable thing, give a little stylus, and I'd have two of them and I'd pretend Mike and I'd be doing that all day long. Here we are on the radio. And then the acting bug came in and took me away. It was a real proud moment because my dad is just like, he loved Mandela, he loved what he stood for. I have dedicated myself to this struggle. Amanda! My dad was sort of like a freedom fighter, he was this sort of union guy. And he, he was like my skeleton for Mandela. I can be there in the room when, when I showed my dad. I just, you know, sat them in the cinema and then walked out. And just to see his flesh and blood son playing the man was like, I think, overwhelming for him. He, he was in tears. London loves me, man. I love being home, man. The world loves you, bro. Thank you, bro. That's a nice thing to say. Real fans will know this, but for those people that are unaware, Idris is one of the most musically passionate people I've met in recent memory. I love music, yeah. and I love being what I do for a living. I'm an actor. I love it. But this experience playing Nelson Mandela took it to another level. You know, being um, a man, playing a man like him and having that opportunity, you know, it just made me take my craft even deeper. And uh, I wanted to understand what kind of music he would have been listening to, what was happening with the music scene. It just blew me away. And I want to do something musically in South Africa. Unbelievable, <laughs> dude. Woo! <laughs> dude, here's to your good life, man. <laughs> I just wanted to get back to South Africa to make an album. I'd done my acting. I'd done the film. Filmmaker, boom. It was already in set to go, and my dad got very ill, and within a very short space of time, died. Threw me for six, man. It's like, whoa. Um, first, I, I just cancelled the trip. I just was like, I'm not, I don't need to do it. I don't, you know, I can't go off to South Africa now. I just, my dad just died for Christ's sake. But he just knew that he'd want me to do it, you know? He wouldn't say, yeah, you sit here and cry and mope. You know, you, you, if that's what you want to do, go and do it. So, um... Yeah, I mean... I just, um, revisioned how I was gonna grieve. After his funeral, man, I just went to South Africa and locked myself in the studio. Was 
I was suddenly surrounded by all these people and it was a dream come true, we like, wow. Fusi Chemist, like a Zulu king, just started to play. George the Poet came. It was a musician's camp. It's an album of uh, uh, experimentation, you know, a little bit of everything. If you have ideas and things that you haven't done before, but now you're thinking, you know what, now I've got a studio, let's record. Please throw them into the mix, man, because it's interesting. I want to be inspired by you, so feel free, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, man, thanks, yeah. brother. Yeah, love it. Love it. I approach this as if I was a director of it. Any good director would tell you that it's not always him, it's all his heads of departments to do all the various bits and pieces. <laughs> I cast Ben Hudson as the head music guy that's going to come in and help me shape this album. In the main room. That's a live woman now. And Spoic Matambo, a great futuristic artist, especially in his electronic music. We approached him to see if he'd come in and introduce us to South African eyes. He loved the concept and said yes. A day before Spook told me about this project, he gave me a call. Uh, they want you involved in Mandela's project. I was like, what? These are people that I haven't been sort of like bust into the limelight. These are grassroots musicians that are just very, really good. So many remixes have been coming, but no recognition. Arch. <laughs> you see, that's bad, man. So no recognition means no money? Yes, because recognition is money so that you can like upgrade your things. Yeah, for me, as I said, I want to be a legend, man. I want my statue down there. A spirit gave me a house band. I said, I wanted a house band. I'm going to go to the studio for five weeks, and I need a band that can just be there the whole time, so any ideas we've got, we can just flesh out very quickly. And the idea was to invite various producers to come in as well to work with the band and any artist. Progress can't be stopped, just slow down. But in this whole town, there's enough to go round. What I want for mine, you want for yours. I hunt for mine, you hunt for yours. But when you come with force, I'm forced to act and survival. Survival's the cause of that. So I'm asking you to pause and reflect. This is effectively my cause. Don't cause an effect, because to master the art of war, don't start a war. So did you come with written stuff? No, 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 no. I came with a, 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 a blank page, which is... Because written stuff kind of works for, for me when I'm working on my stuff. Yeah. But I have to understand right now that I'm part of a process that is much further, much further beyond me. This album, not every song's about Mandela. No. You've got me, I'm from where I'm from, yeah, you know, yeah, but I'm yeah. the fusion of who I am right now. And the fusion of who they are yeah. is what put that thing on screen. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the feeling I'm trying to capture yeah. for this record. You yeah. know what I mean? It's that same But you've given all of us a, a little bit of that. Listen, then, if you've got ideas, anything, man. Yeah, I'm just over. I'm just look. I want to come see what you have done so yeah, far. Yeah. And let me just feel yeah. it. And then, then if I can think of anything, I'll say it to Yeah. You. All right, we'll yeah. play some shit. Yeah. Maverick Sabre from the UK came and, you know, like, you know, he's a young growing star and didn't really need to come out to South Africa with an actor that he has no idea whether they do music or not, no idea whatsoever. I was, I was lucky, I was really lucky. Because I don't, I don't speak music, don't play music. I just hear music. Oh, there's musicians from all around the world in there. 
You know, some couldn't even understand what I was saying, especially with me tough accent, you know what I mean? Um, and, um, and vice versa, you know. Um, but there was a feeling, a mutual understanding of the energy at the time, and I think that's what this album should represent, that. I think that should sum it up. I remember there was one point I was singing, in, and then Mama came with her, you know, South African power of voice. It was just a great experience, kind of overwhelming. needs to be redone. Let me come again, let me come again. Can we dim the lights in here? Because I never sing with this bright light. And this guy's pointing at me and making me nervous. Tandisa in Mazawi, a force to be reckoned with. She wasn't immediately warm and fuzzy and like, yeah, I'm gonna jump on it. She gave me a drilling, you know, and, and I questioned my intentions. I've been kind of hesitant of doing something about or for or around uh, Nelson Mandela. It would be a little bit opportunistic. But on the, on the flip side of that, I think it's also very important to do it, you know? So it's, um, it's, it is very important, but the, I, I only want to do it if it doesn't feel, if it feels right. I came back this year because I wanted to express how I felt about making that movie via music. That, that transition, you know, that I had to go through via song. And not all about Idris, but just a more universal approach to the themes of, the, of these songs are about transition, about I came here, I changed myself to become this person. I mean, you know, it was, yeah, extensive and scary and you know what I mean and all of us can sort of relate to that somehow somewhere you know that's the general feel and what we've been doing is just making song after song and beats and ideas yeah, I've got a couple of ideas but I'd love you to listen to it it's very traditional sounding but I think you could make it sound let's see yeah <laughs> I'm not asking anybody to do it for free, yes. but the standard rate, the family yeah. rate. Yeah, the fa <laughs> family thing. Family you, right? thing. Yeah. yeah. Idris is paying people a respectable fee, which is really nice to see because a lot of people come uh, to Africa and yeah, say it's so cheap to get session musicians and you can record an album for nothing, you know. And, well, he hasn't even really sought approval or backing from a label yet. He wants his main thing is to get it done in the way he wants it done and have the people that he wants without any kind of interference. Did you record it? No, I didn't record it. You didn't? No. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've had my firearm since I was 18 years old. That's a legal age. It's an extension of my limbs, yes, sir. And thankfully, you've never had to use it? Uh, not in this situation, but I had to use it once before, yes, where I had actually killed somebody in self-defense, though, yeah. Really? Yeah. We need more love in this world. And then maybe we should teach more love in the schools. This thing must be taught at a very young age. You must be taught good. there's a black man, there's a pink man, there's a green, and in somewhere there's a killer. But we need more love. A human being is made of love. <laughs> Is this in Zulu? Yeah, this is in Zulu. Yeah. Malatola Queens came in. 
It's six decades they've been making music. They are to other musicians like royalty. In our country, humble, humble yourself. Yeah. In yeah, any yeah. country, yeah. as a visitor, you humble yeah, yeah. Yeah. your country. For them to come and work on this is like a massive deal for us. You know, they don't just come out for anybody. Welcome you. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, it's fantastic. They started off in the apartheid era where their music was banned. Right, Max. You look young. Yeah. <laughs> You're a hot shot. Yeah. yeah. Fly to, fly to Hollywood to make a movie. So can yeah. you play something so that you listen? Or are we yeah. going to listen to something or what? That's me singing, man. Huh? <laughs> it would sound nice to make it big, you know? Maybe the little bit on the chorus. Yeah, on the chorus, on the on the. We'll do the yo 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 Mandela. Okay. Yo 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 Mandela. We had the queens come through and bless us, but I also wanted on this album to have new blood. Guys, welcome to the shack. I know you haven't seen this. The architect is gonna still work on it. It's supposed to be finished so that I can sleep in here peacefully. Yeah. <laughs> so I still need the shack. Because I think it does inspire me somehow, somewhere. I'm not sure, but I believe that. Because the music that I do is like you're banging them, them feels that. Like what Yeah, yeah. yeah. like <laughs> Like this in the UK? Absolutely not. 
I mean, who in the bra- who would be crazy or brave enough to do this? It's like 180 BPM. We go to 140 BPM. The Germans might go to 160 BPM. This is 180 BPM. Shake, shake the hips. You'd have a heart attack if you listen to this for six hours. But it'd be a good one. It'd be a good way to go. Oh my God, this is hot! This is so good! Do you want like a coffee or anything? That would kill me. Coffee would kill you? Yeah, I used to go crazy with coffee. But now I take vodka. Enough vodka? Yeah, work time. He's very talented and very sweet guy, but it, it's just that thing of having to literally pry the bottle out of his hand. Also, this is not vodka, um. but he thinks he's drinking. And that's on top of lots of other things. But I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure once he gets the trombone in his hand, he will be flawless. Do you need the brass section anymore? Yeah. They're a little bit wobbly. They're working. They better get on them fucking mics and blow. It sounds shit. Yeah, the start of the notes is shit. That's what I don't like. The start of the notes, they, they sound like... It's like, what? Everyone on the same note. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling just concentrate. Yeah, I'm Make that shit sound like Jesus Christ is about to walk yeah. in the room. Tongue in unison? Yeah. Tongue in, in unison. When you say unison, you Brother, mean, you, mean... you can keep repeating yourself, yeah, or but... you can do the job. The choice is yours. Is it time? 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 I don't deal with that. You know what I'm learning is like, it's like, because it's my vision, like, unless I step up, step up and say it and do it, you know, everyone just does their own thing. And I've just got to fucking, I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm one, of, I'm one of those people that, you know, think you're going to do what I ask you to do. And then, and then I'm obviously disappointed if you don't do what I ask you to do. So then I, I'm one of those people that needs to go in there and go, no, this is what I want. Beep, 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 beep. It's the unison is like, I'm talking about like, when you That's both it. hit, you uh, all hit the same note. Let, let, let me correct you. When you're talking about unison, you're talking about everybody is playing the same melody. You play in unison. Do you you're unison, unison now. you're playing same We understand note. this. We understand can, this. Can we do the same thing? You want to do this or you want to have another conversation about it? I'm confusing you, honestly. No, you understand no, what's understand going on now? Look at Remy, come on, chill out. Everyone chill out. You don't yeah. disrespect any artist now. Listen, it's sound like Chris. You don't. Just because I'm from where I'm from, I might not be something, but I'm something to myself, man. <laughs> no, not. There's a lot of heat in the room. Can you feel that? There's not freedom. Because he's pissed. You know what I mean? Yes, this is very. No, no, no. This is amazing. Hey, no, no. I'm not fighting. Stop it. I'm telling you now. Stop it. Stop it. Do you hear me? No. This is it. Stop it now. My man. All right? My man. Sweet. My man. Keep quiet now. My man. Keep quiet. My man. Sweet. Stop it. Are you then, don't, don't put your finger at me, stop it now. Guys, hold up, hold up. Guys, guys, hold up, hold up. I'm a musician, I'm a Whoa, 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 whoa. But you spoke like our. Hold up, hold up. Let me finish. No, no. This is not your place, man. Sorry. Everybody chill the fuck out, man. No, no, no. Chill the fuck out, man. Welcome, chill, man. Welcome, chill, man. I'll give you this. Chris, Chris, relax. Sorry. Chris, walk away. Yo! Just walk away. Just walk away. Man, I'm fucking out, man. This way, this way, man. Please, you have a gun or you can shoot people. Please. Your Lord, your Lord. What are you doing that for, Malcolm? Malcolm, come on, Malcolm, come on, man. What are you doing that for? I don't care. We deal with this in this country. People think we are monkeys. We're not fucking monkeys and we're not fucking going to be spoken to that way. I understand that, but. Because yeah, I'm drunk, I just now, that means I, I can't reason. Do you mean because I'm drunk, I can't reason? I can't reason. I no, can't but reason. Not, listen, all we're trying to do is maintain the order. We that, have a I job just, to do here. It is, but yeah. order, it means respect. Yes, I for each other. I can't come to you. But and, he's security, man. That's what he does for a living. He can't come to me and talk shit. I, I know that. I know that. Shit. I know. And that's why I'm saying to you, I'm sorry yes. for that. But we can't let it disrupt what we're doing here. We have to work. And then they treat you like they are drunk. Yeah. He's drunk. 
That's why he is like that. That's why I wanna, you know, that's why. Michael, I, listen, I think your ego is getting a bit too much now. Relax, it's done, it's done, all right? Fuck the fucking shit. Relax. Those things were never said to you, my man. Who? These things were said to me. They were never said to you. Many times, pal. I work in the entertainment industry. That's people talk to you like that. We, we deal with that all the time. And sometimes you have to stop and tell people in the face, no, you can't treat people like that. Okay, and you did that? I did that. All right, so Thank can you. we move on from yeah. now? All right. No. I don't mind if he hates me and he loves his Idris, because it's Idris album. I'll just tell him what's real. And Idris can come along and be, you know, wonderful. <laughs> He'll, he'll do what it takes to get stuff done. You know, it's not, it's not a vanity project. This is a proper album. Got it. Moving on. Yes, sir. Thank you, boss. <laughs> it's good. Let's listen back, yeah? He's, he's very good. Because he's basically saved the session. It's artist, that's all. It's just artist. It's fine. We got what we wanted, and that's what I got. Day. Everyone was feeling the pressures, and uh, Masho was DJing in his town, and uh, he said, "Come down, you know." It was exactly what we all needed, you know. The vibe was strong, and just so many people just in their zone, you know. And so it was just great to capture that vibe, and it just reminded me of what, you know, when I came here the first time, that was the first thing that happened to me, was like, wow, this music's just like, you know, they listen to DJs out here. They, they're like, what you got next? It's almost like, who's playing the best drums? That's what it felt like. thankful of you know like the opportunity I've got here and the acceptance and all of that so anything that I'm taking into here is with like love and positiveness emotions that are going to push this music forward and ultimately make my old man smile if you were to say something to your dad right now that you never said what would that be I don't know I think I would say something like Manchin Manchester United is a shit team. I'm serious. Yeah, I've never said that to my dad. No, man. Massive, yeah. massive yeah. Manchester yeah, United. I'm going in there and I'm going to talk to you. I'll see if I can walk outside. Hold on, hold on. Idris has um, been invited to go to the White House, which is an absolute honour, and he's over the moon about it. Um, unfortunately, we haven't got a private jet because that would have answered some problems because it would have meant that the time scale between A and B would have been shorter. Next thing on the schedule is going to the States to promote this film. One minute I'm here being, you know, this musician, the next minute I'm sort of like being an actor. And, and that's a different vibe altogether. We just met the president, hung out with George Clooney, went on Julia Roberts' private jet, you know? Can't get any more studs, star studded. Do you film some of the White Houses? Yeah, I did on my iPhone. That's the private screening room at the White House. So Obama stood at the front. I can thank uh, Harvey Weinstein and this guy. <laughs> this guy here. Last time he came to the White House, 
But ladies will leave them alone. <laughs> so ladies, leave them alone. <laughs> but I'm sitting in the back of my head's like, psh, psh. I'm over here like, stop it, Barack. Come on, man. I always knew at the back of my mind I've got to get cracking on the Mandela press tour. It was always looming, like, you're going to be running around for that film sooner or later, and here we are in the midst of it. This is the L.A. leg, and it's been pretty full on, you know? There's been lots of screeners and lots of Q&As, shitloads of questions about the performance and the film. There's very little time for him to have any time for himself. He moves from the car, physically walks into a seat, sits down, gets powdered, has to read scripts, moves from that in front of a camera to do whatever piece he's there for, an interview or a photograph. Hello, I'm Major Selva, and I'd like to thank you for coming to watch Mandela. Hi. He's out back into the car, on the telephone again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Moves on through the day doing that, so you're just basically existing to go to sleep, to wake up, to do it all again. I feel a little disconnected to my album because I haven't had to... I'm not listening to it. Exhaustion is really setting in, you know? Hey, Giselba, he's Luther for crying out loud. You know how many people stop me? When they find out that I'm his chauffeur, they say, I love Luther. Hey, hey, you don't know me, but I know you. Is that good? I like this guy, man. He's a, fan, he's a fantastic actor, and I'm very happy for his success. He's at an interesting moment in his career right now. He has a lot of opportunities in front of him right now. This guy with the plug. He's being very careful about what he wants to take advantage of. Key to ambition is to have strategy. Ambition without strategy is like a condom with no penis. It's useless. Is that profound? It could be. <laughs> read, read the right way. <laughs> Next thing on the schedule is Mali. There's no traffic signals, there's no... It's like every man for himself. Back to basics. I love it. It's a challenge for me. Hello, good morning, how are you? Yeah. We still had to record some more stuff, and we had been invited out there to sort of work with the African Express team. Uh, Africa Express is an idea based around musicians from different cultures to more each other's work and to enjoy playing music together. It's utterly mesmerizing and inspirational to be in a place where music is so important and the musicianship is so extraordinary. What is interesting to us musicians from England and America is that it's, it's very clearly one of the big tap roots of modern pop music. You can hear very clearly the blues in there, gospel and funk. this evolutionary tree of the history of music, you'd have this huge, thick trunk called African music, and one of the little branches of it would be Western pop music. Somebody asked me what I was going to Mali for, and I said for a week of musical humiliation. The amount of talent here is quite astounding. Yeah, Idris, Idris Akuna Elba. Well, I have a, I have a small setup upstairs. Uh, Mike, yes. Come and we'll jam. No, no problem. You get time. You are here tomorrow. Yeah, after for tomorrow. five days. Five, five days. days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm here all my life. <laughs> same, eh? I didn't know anything about him as a musician. I know him only as an actor. And 
I'm always pleased when I discover that people have another completely different side to their work. They probably just see you as an actor. Mm. Oh yeah. I've had that I've had that feeling from people and it, what 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 comes from that is a sort of almost like a uh, oh yeah oh, I do music for you. Which means I have to kind of prove myself a little bit higher, more, or whatnot. And then and it means that some people don't really take it that seriously, to be honest. You know, it's kind of like, hi, bye, you know. That's fine, because, you know, I... To, that's... I expect that. Even if I was a, a trained singer, fucking trained musician, I'd still get jit. You know, from people that didn't know or understand or believe. So I'm not worried about it. It doesn't dissuade me. It actually, actually propels me forward. The new setup is different from where we were in Jobo because we were in a studio and and this is very much sort of like grab your laptop, grab a little area and go for it. You know, the musicians aren't coming to see us. You know, we've got to go and get the musicians and say, hey, do you want to jam on this? And yeah, yeah. You know, it's a learning curve for me here and um, I'm enjoying that. It's Africa, man. Loads of musicians here in Bamako. You know, they fled parts of the north where they'd been banned recently by Islamist militants. This is what they do, this is their trade, and suddenly their trade could get their hands chopped off by some extremists. Idrissa Elba. Idris. Idrissa. Idrissa. So let's do, let's do the change, all right? Yeah. I want them to sing on top of that. Yeah. So just to change, just to change, yeah? to the album it's going to sound like a great album and then half of it is done by people that are totally unknown i love that fantastic very good very good very good i tell you what man it's the energies in there is right and she's singing beautifully just want to get the track right yeah we've got the bass now so he'll be able to make that happen and then the drums drop on top of that and we're out of here I wish I had more time, because I would have probably just finished the whole record here. But duty calls, I have to jump from this space into promoting the Mandela film. Not what I want to do right now. This is Grace and Michelle, Mum. Yeah. I'm Mr. Mandela's wife now. I'm Mandela's wife. <laughs> Mum, Winnie's here. She was so excited to meet you. <laughs> so good to see you. <laughs> Has it felt like a long walk to freedom for you? Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. It's been a very long time pulling this, you know, it's come to this day. Was there something in particular that you learned about yourself through all of this? Um, I channeled my father, my late dad's energy, to uh, uh, play Nelson Mandela, and I realized also that I'm very much like my dad. I think when I'm older, I'm gonna look just like him. <laughs> sweating, oh no, we've got a tissue. Oh, don't matter, doesn't matter, I'm sweating. Go on. 
everyone's in your face and everyone's pulling at me, asking questions. And it should have been a great moment, you know, in our lives, but it definitely remember it as a time when it was just really tough. Everybody, everybody stopped touching me. And I couldn't really keep the cool facade on. Where's, uh, where's my mum and... All right, where's my family? I have to find them, eh? You okay? No, you okay? You're holding your belly, you're all right. So really got to look at what I'm supposed to do. All of it's important to the film, but I'm just not sure how much of it's important to me. You can't give away that much of yourself, man, and expect to survive. I'd love coming home and showing my old man a film or showing my mum a film. That was it. That's it. I'm happy with that. The rest of the world, I don't know. I've been close to death in a fiction way, but this is the death of someone that's real to me. But I'll tell you, it's weird how it's affected me massively. And all while I'm doing the greatest moment of my life. You know, it just seems unfair, really, but this is the greatest, should be the greatest time of my life, and uh, I don't know. Anyway, it kind of feels good to be back here and sort of finish up some loose ends. I've got to see Tandy Sway. She sung two songs of us. She wants to hear the song, and she hasn't signed paperwork. Right, can we play this stuff? It's going to be nuts. It's a bit unnervy. Of course. She doesn't like it. Yeah, Make me go in and do it again. It's not mixed, eh? Yeah, that's not mixed, yeah? No, the tune. It's not mixed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So I just hope she doesn't turn around and say, oh, I don't really want myself on this album now, because that would just fuck me up. Fully, they're good songs. I know that. I know, you know. I just been. I think she, because she hasn't heard them since she recorded them. Yeah. And you know, she likes to be in control, so if she wants to hear the songs, live a bit. She'll tell you when it's done. So far, doing this about a record label has proved to be like taxing, massively. And I understand why record labels exist. It was a journey in South Africa while I was making the film. Music was the way I sort of got into the character. South Africa has a rich, rich music culture, music scene, musicians and whatnot, and I sort of plugged into it, and then I found myself back there to make this album. Most people did not know what to expect. <laughs> I could just see it dawn on them that he is absolutely serious. Successful actor wants to make an album. We've all seen it, and you know sometimes the results haven't been exactly that 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 pleasant or even indeed interesting. And it is a risk. I'm not an artist that's going to make them a lot of money, but hopefully going to build a strong relationship with them. You're going to have the cynics out there who 
feel that he's blowing the boundaries of the lines of what he should be doing, and but it's still got to be a great record. That's an incredible song, that. Yeah. Please tell me that's on the album. Yeah. Well, hangs together, though, doesn't it? It's cohesiveness yeah. throughout. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you ever so much. Yeah. Uh, and we'll get into some more of the detail tomorrow and come back to you. All right, man. Thank Brilliant. you very much. Thanks, guys. Cheers. I know what the ingredients are, and I've got a very strong idea of... It. But what, the, what it's actually going to turn out as, I, I haven't a clue. Oh, I think we really liked it. We did it. In fact, the whole record label. <laughs> We pulled them all over their eyes. Jesus Christ, we pulled that together. I've got to take a piss. Where's the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the toilet? 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 Where's and then there I was, literally, this was my moment, my name everywhere, and I'm on Leicester Square, man. I had 30 members of my family, my first drama teacher there, I had my mates, and there was a really nice atmosphere in London. I was in the cinema with the Duchess on my left, Prince William next to us, and someone leaned over to the Duchess and said something to her, and she just looked up and looked at me and just passed me this phone. It said Nelson Mandela dies age 94, and the Duchess just burst into tears. The family said we'd like you to come to the funeral. went to the private burial. It was very deep, very personal, very sad. It took a man like Madiba to free not just the prisoner, but the jailer as well. For the people of South Africa, for those he inspired around the globe, Madiba's passing is rightly a time of mourning and a time to celebrate a heroic life. The world was empty and everyone was there, you know. There was a moment when um, I was sitting there and, you know, the whole world's watching. And at the end, he says, uh, you know, the man that played Nelson Mandela is here, Idris Elba. And all I heard was Elba. And, you know, I just can imagine, you know, that's my old man's name, you know what I mean? Like, my dad's name was recognised. It blew my mind, you know. When I think about it, it blows my mind. We miss you, man. I'm thinking about you a lot. And... I don't know, man. I'm uh, directing the story of uh, when I was... Um, 11. It's a half an hour film. I'm playing you, and Mum is playing the lollipop lady. <laughs> she always wanted to be in the movies. <laughs> so I put her in the movies playing the lollipop lady. Bloody hell. You would laugh, Dad, I'm telling you. <laughs> Seven days before you die, man, believe it or not, on my birthday. Me and I went to tell my dad that she was pregnant. And he went, well, boy, if it's a boy, then you know you must call him Winston. Really? <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah. My dad dying and my son being born, all right? You know, it's just like, it's just full, that's full circle. You know what I mean? It's just what we're here for. It's full circle. Everything is circular. Everything has a beginning and an end, and then the beginning. Because when I see my son, I just laugh, because I'm like, yeah, you know, that's me. That's, that's my rebirth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love it, and, and my dad must have felt the same, you know? He loved music and loved movies, loved great actors, and here I am doing all of that for him. That, you know, that's him. 
You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all in peace and money, and I would like you to just watch me. Problem. Mm -hmm. 